What's interesting about this whole harmonics and cymatics is that this is a universal thing. It's, it's going to be throughout the universe. It's every that's, single that's planet. That's called the anthropic it, it's principle. It's like mathematics. We have discovered all these extreme amplitudes of acoustic sounds. And right now we're currently working on how we might be using it for future technologies. I love it. This is so great. Well, let me tell you a story uh, about uh, an event that happened very recently. Two scientists have done an experiment. They go into the great detailed math of the quantum interaction with the sound interaction, and they call that a phonon-photon interaction. Phonon is the particle for sound, and discovered that sound can trigger this negative mass effect. In March 2019, scientists at Columbia University in New York City made a shocking discovery that redefines the known laws of physics. In an experiment, physicist Angelo Esposito demonstrated that phonons are affected by gravity, but in a highly unexpected way. Instead of being forced down towards the Earth, phonons actually rise upwards. Scientists discovered that the phonon itself has mass, which nobody thought it had before. But the closer they looked, they realized that it wasn't mass at all. It was negative mass and negative gravity. It turns out that under certain conditions with sound waves, sound waves can actually start to rise rather than fall. And this was an anomaly, but yes, it seems to be consistent with the laws of physics that certain vibrations, instead of falling down, can actually fall up. To me, that's experimental evidence that you can, if you understand sound the right way, use it to levitate heavy things. So could this imply that the ancient stories of levitation of stones, that some type of technology like that was, Im was implemented? That's right. And that comes back to this whole idea with the uh, cymatics, which is where we're taking uh, certain sounds and putting them in what we'll call standing waves, and they produce these amazing geometric figures. And you could envision, if you knew the way to manipulate this the right way, you could put, you could make three-dimensional figures with it even, mm. right? You could have sound not just underneath it, but all around it. And in fact, I've seen one where there are multiple transducers in a way and they can levitate little styrofoam balls mm -hmm. and ping pong balls right. just by having the sound in the right way and even do multiple ones in, in configuration. So imagine if you could amplify the power, if you could amplify the, the principle, wouldn't that or couldn't that apply? Because Absolutely. we have ancient stories in ancient Egypt, in England, some of the Stonehenge blocks, according to some of the legends, magician Merlin right. was able to levitate those stones across the plains of England. Right. Is it possible that the same principles utilized to move sand particles and larger objects, such as ping pong balls, could also be used on a larger scale to lift and move much heavier objects? Curiously, a great number of stories can be found in the ancient world that involve the use of sound to levitate massive stones. All the way around the world, there are myths and legends relating to the movement of stone blocks. Using sound technology, these are found amongst the Maya of Mexico, the Phoenicians of the Near East, and in Tibet. We have stories in ancient Egypt, even, where they seem to be able to move the stone effortlessly from one place to another, some way in hundreds of tons. In the 10th century AD, the Arab historian Abul Hassan Ali al-Masudi wrote that the Egyptians were visited by beings known as the guardians of the sky, who gave them knowledge that enabled them to levitate the massive limestone blocks with which they built the Great Pyramid. In old Egypt, they had a certain sound, a certain vibration, and the blocks moved by themselves. They show a technology which we do not have. If acoustic technology was used to levitate massive stones, as ancient astronaut theorists suggest, might knowledge of this technology 
have been left for humankind to rediscover.